Hey guys, hope you're well. It's James Martis Opus and welcome to our channel. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about brush care and maintenance, and most importantly, how to clean your brushes using our conditioner and cleanser. Uh, that's going to be a full cleaning process for Series S, Series M, and also Series D. So today's video is all about brush care. Uh, we all get excited about painting miniatures, getting them on the tabletop, getting them in the cabinet, but the most important thing is that without looking after these, that wouldn't be possible. Um, series S, Series M and Series D, our uh, detail, freehand and fine working brushes and also our dry brush product brushes, uh, they all require cleaning and they all do come with care instructions on how to look after them plus brush soap. Uh, but if you aren't familiar with how to clean our brushes and you've recently picked some up, this video is going to cover all three of the ranges for you uh, in depth and you'll also get an extra little tip on how to clean brush heads that have got stubborn sort of paint stuck to them, be it sort of metallics or paints that have got very very dense pigmentation content. So I do hope you're gonna like this video and uh, also please while you're here on YouTube on our channel do subscribe do also look at all the other social media links that are in the description of this video so Instagram Twitter and also Facebook if you go give us a follow and uh, like respectively on all those you can keep up to date with everything that goes on here at Artis Opus and all of our products and new releases let's get into it so for this tutorial guys on how to look after your brushes uh, there's quite a few things you're going to need and if you are going to follow along with this tutorial on brush care then what I advise that you do is watch this section fully because then you'll make sure you can get everything you need in front of you prior to starting. Um, we've got obviously a selection of brushes that we're going to do show the cleaning process on and we've got a series D size medium, triple zero and size four from series S and also a uh, size two from series M uh, and that's just so you can see the cleaning process for those three ranges that we have here at Artis Opus currently. Uh, some nice thick paper towel, some brush soap, this is just one of the three mil containers that comes in uh, all the box sets that we sell. Um, also so a bowl of water or container of water of some form, uh, a plastic container or any small container as well is very useful and you'll find out why shortly in the video. Um, on top of it also have some, some of the care instructions that do come with all of our sets as well, uh, be it Series S, Series M or Series D. The last thing that you're going to need is something that I do advise that you do if you are wanting to clean brushes of metallic particles. And that would be either some uh, airbrush thinner or airbrush cleaner, whichever you have. Uh, either is fine, uh, but if you uh, if you wanted to have those as well to help clean the process for metallic paints that are stuck in the bristles, uh, I do advise that you have those to hand as well. Uh, we're going to come back in a second and start with Series M and Series S and how to clean our pointy sharp detail brushes. See you guys back in a second. So let's first have a look at how to clean Series S and Series M, which are our two fine detail, freehand blocking in brushes. Uh, these are gonna be your workhorse brushes typically, uh, and if you do use larger brushes that you use for lots of different jobs and duties, uh, they're really gonna get a lot of work and you're gonna to need to clean them on a sort of regular basis. I mean, I, I typically would say, maybe I'd do a cleaning session of brushes once a week perhaps, if you've got like half hour and half an hour to kill or something like that. Um, but we're gonna start by looking at this Series S size four. Uh, again, with these larger brushes, they do need a decent clean and uh, you need to be very very sort of uh, careful in the way that you clean them um, now to start off with what we're going to do is inspect the brush looking at brush heads and uh, getting to see where any issues or problems are is really important uh, if you are sticking it to the load the front two thirds of the brush raw as in not getting paint anywhere near the ferrule uh, which we really do advise um, if you want to get paint out of the pot we recommend that you use an older brush uh, that you, put, you perhaps you've had for many 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 years and uh, you, you know you're not too fussed if you get paint in the ferrule but we all always always are advocates of not getting paint near that ferrule to start off with as a golden rule now uh, if you're using normal acrylic paints um, typically you know the cleaning process you can just go through the cleaning part process of this video uh, but I'm going to show you how to clean more stubborn paints from brush heads and I'm typically talking about metallic paints because they do have a heavier pigment uh, in them uh, they tend to stick quite quite aggressively to hairs and sometimes they can be a real nightmare to get off you might look at your brushes and see you've got flecks of metallic pigment stuck on hairs or you get these little nodules of paint that are stuck to certain individual hairs on the brush head um, they can cause the brush heads to misshape and all these different things so do have a look at those first of all I've been using this brush for metallics as you can see there's a little bit of metallic paint stuck there um, but just as a duty of care to the brush what I like to do is I like to just get some airbrush thinner or cleaner I'm going to use some thinner here and just put some thinner into this plastic pot that you will see here and uh, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to get our, um, our size 4 here and we're just going to introduce it into the airbrush thinner and we're going to give it a, little bit, a lot of lateral kind of motion from left and right and 
just to clean and soften off any of those harder, really stuck on parts of pigment, okay? What you'll notice is I'm not stabbing the brush in this direction, I'm moving it in a lateral direction, or you can work it into the bristles on the side of the whatever object it is that you're using, just to make sure that you do work that thinner into the brush uh, head, okay? And soften and maybe even thin down and break down those uh, harder sort of formations of paint in the brush head, okay? So that's the first thing. Uh, once you've loaded the brush head with that thinner, we're just going to use the palm of our hand or a flat surface to just literally twist and help form the uh, the head and also work that uh, liquid through the brush head as well. And sometimes some of the less harder stuck on globule paint will come off in your hand. If you do get the odd stubborn one, then what I recommend that you do is literally just get your thumb and your forefinger and just tweeze it ever so slightly, but don't work aggressively and don't work really hard. Just tweeze and move in this motion like that and it will literally take off any of the harder built up because the thinner has broken down that paint. Once you've done that, we then obviously want to clean off that thinner as quickly as possible from the brush head. We do not want to leave it in the brush head overnight. Don't ever leave thinner in your brushes overnight or anything at all like that, but it does really help to break down more stubborn formations of paint. So we're just going to introduce it into this water, give it a lovely uh, in, sort of soaking just to make sure that we get out all of that uh, airbrush thinner that was in the brush. I'm going to do this twice just as a, as a force of habit, uh, just to make sure that we do really clean and uh, inundate that head with just clean water. All Right, okay, it's the first thing we're going to do. So that is the process that I use to, to take off sort of more stubborn, aggressive, heavier pigmented paints from brushes if they're stuck on. We're now going to move on to the cleaning aspect of it and how to just clean your brushes using the brush soap and restorer that we have here at Artis Opus. So we're back in a second just to show you that. So now on to just cleaning them with brush soap and conditioner, uh, a really important part of the process. And again, if you are cleaning your brushes on a sort of regular basis, it really does help to maintain those brushes and keep them by your side for very many years. So obviously we've got a brush here that we've you know done painting with. It's you know got a point that's set. Uh, we're just going to introduce it into some water first of all to start off with. We're going to get our uh, brush soap. This is one of the three mil brush soaps that comes with either of the Series S, Series M, or Series D brush sets. Um, we also do a 10 mil as well which is larger and obviously it can be is exactly the same brush soap that we use and comes with all of our standard corsets uh, when you purchase them so the brush is obviously wet I'm gonna get uh, my brush soap here and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to just introduce that uh, brush into the uh, the soap and again a nice lateral motion we're not stabbing in this direction we're working that brush soap and conditioner into the head you can see I'm picking up quite a lot of soap here on the brush which is what we want to do okay we're gonna literally just work that into the bristles draw back as well helping to sort of form that point you can see there's lots and lots of soap on there which is really really lovely okay and then what I'm going to do is using the uh, crease on my hand again I'm just going to work that into the bristles you can add a tiny bit more water if you want just so to help build up a bit of a lather as you can see here we're building up a little bit of a lather from the soap which is really nice again just drawing that back moving the brush in a, in a rearward direction okay to form that form that lovely point on the brush as we're working all right now once this is uh, on the bristles and sort of fully worked in what we recommend that you do is that you uh, pull it to a point so just get a lovely sharp point okay and then leave that for roughly about uh, 20 to 30 minutes just leave that on your desk okay and then once you've done that come back to it and uh, what we do is give it a really good rinse so we're going to go back to our water and just uh, just give it a really good rinse once again all right and work all of that brush soap out of the uh, out of the head of the brush okay again when you're drying the, the, the brush what you want to do is draw back as I mentioned okay we don't want to be forcing it in any direction again just for force of habit I'll always do it twice just so that you can see uh, we're forming that point into a lovely, lovely sharp point on the uh, on the bristles here, as you see, just so you got that nice sharp point on the brush. Uh, so that's what we'll do. Now, you can repeat that process once again if you'd like, okay, just to make sure you've thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned that brush. Um, when it comes to storing your brushes after you've done a bit of a cleaning process, what I would advise that you do is that you leave them to dry horizontal. Now, lots of reasons as to why we recommend that, and also you can just Put it, put it back in your box if you've got one of the sets and leave it in, this, in its foam just to uh, dry and stay uh, and stay safe. You do not want to leave your brushes vertical to, to dry and it's really important you don't do that. And the main reason for that is because obviously the head, albeit that you've dried it, will still have some moisture in there. Uh, that potentially could sort of permeate down into the uh, ferrule here, which we don't want to happen because any moisture that permeates into the ferrule could potentially cause the compacted tight hair in there to mat which you do not want 
that uh, that sort of spring that the ferrule creates on the brush is what helps to maintain this the lovely points that we have on our brushes. Um, so do leave your brush horizontal to, uh, to 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 dry. That's what I would recommend. Uh, and obviously just put your brush protector back on the brush, and that will help just to maintain and protect your points. So if you do knock your desk or whatever, it's not going to damage the, uh, the the head in any way, shape, or form. That process is essentially the same for both Series S and Series M and can be used to work on all of our sort of rushes in those ranges, be it our triple zeros or our double zeros. Again, really, really important that you follow those, that, that cleaning process uh, on a semi-regular basis just to really make sure these brushes do last the test of time and they are, do retain their lovely sharp points. Again, for any of you that do pick up any of our brush sets, uh, you do get that process included within the set. So all the information is here for you guys to check out when you do pick up a brush set. And uh, that's how to clean Series S and Series M. We're back in a second to have a look at how to clean Series D, which is our dry brush range. See you guys back shortly. So next we have the process of cleaning at Series D. Now Series D, our technical dry brush range, uh, within the technique that comes with it, um, there's a process of removing and reactivating old paint from the, from the brush. And that's a process of going between our dampening pad and our texture palette or the model we're working on. Uh, that process can be seen in any of the YouTube videos with Series D featured on this channel. So make sure that you subscribe to watch those videos, learn how to use the technique that comes with Series D and also see that that sort of uh, removal of paint process while you're working, which is really, really intricate and uh, in maintaining these brushes. Um, so we've got out uh, a Series D brush here, this is just a medium. Uh, and let's just say we've finished the session, we've gone backwards and forwards from the from the, the dampening pad to uh, to the, the model or to our texture palette to remove the, um, the, the, the paint while working. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is now we're gonna clean and condition the brush. And this process is, uh, is not too dissimilar from Series S or Series M, uh, but the, the end result is there's a little bit, a little bit different that you need to obviously follow. So the first thing that we're gonna do is obviously just check the brush, make sure and inspect it. There's no large globules of paint, which you can see there's none here. All we're gonna do is just dampen the brush ever so slightly. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce uh, introduce that into your, uh, your sort of brush and conditioner here, as you'll see. Uh, and the beauty of this is we're gonna move it again, as I said, in a lateral motion. All right, okay, just to build up that, that sort of conditioner and restorer in the brush head. All right, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. And we want to build up a decent lather when this one we clean it so you can swirl it around in like a kind of round sort of fashion or you can draw back like this but really work it into the bristles obviously we've got loads of compacted hair in this in this brush head so we want to make sure that we have enough soap and conditioner in there to really work that in restore that and condition those those hairs now what we're going to do is either you can do it on your hand or what we do recommend as well is um is using your sort of texture palette that comes with uh, you know the, the, one of the products you can purchase obviously from our web store what you can do is you can use that texture palette uh, to sort of work that uh, lava into the bristles. I like using my hand as well, so you can go work between both of them perhaps. Um, all you're going to do is just work those, work that conditioner into the, the, the head as I was saying, build up a nice lather as you can see there, a nice white lather as you'll see. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is work it back and form this kind of like sharpish kind of uh, point on the uh, on the brush, all right, as you'll see here. So it gives us this nice kind of sharp point on the on the brush. All right, so we're at this point now where we've we've done the conditioning phase, we've worked it into the bristles, we've taken a little bit of the excess off either on our hand or on the uh, texture palette, and we're gonna leave this soap overnight on the brush, okay? And again, most importantly, like any brush that we recommend, either Series S, Series M, or Series D, what we recommend that you do is you leave the brush horizontal and flat as opposed to being vertical, okay? Really important that we do that. Um, what then happens is that that brush that's the that brush is now going to have the the conditioner sort of working overnight to sort of moisturize and maintain and build the perfect kind of light bulb kind of form to the brush when we uh, reawaken it in the morning. When we come back, now obviously I can't do this now because obviously I've just wet the brush. But what happens in the morning is we come back and we just give the brush a nice flick and this dried brush head, what will happen is it will kind of open up and reform that lovely, lovely uh, sort of light, brush, light bulb kind of shape that you expect to see with Series D when it's dry. Okay, uh, and that's the process of cleaning Series D. Uh, again, like uh, any pro any of the, the sort of cleaning aspects of the video, if you want to repeat it a few times, just to really make sure that you do get out all of the paint from the from the bristles of your brush, that's really, really important. Um, we're gonna come back in a second and you can just finish up the video for you guys. So stick around, that's coming up shortly. 
So there we have it guys, there's a full video tutorial on how to clean Series S, Series M and also Series D. I hope that's been very insightful and helped you to maintain your brushes and keep them going for many, many years so that you're, they're your best friends and uh, allow you to get paint all those lovely models for the tabletop and also the cabinets. Uh, while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favour and subscribe to the channel. If you hit that bell icon, you'll be notified when all our new tutorial videos go up and also any other product videos that do go up on the channel. So I do hope you can subscribe to us. Uh, also in the description, you'll find all the links to our other social media so Instagram Twitter and also Facebook please go give us a like and follow respectively on those so you can keep up to date with everything that goes on here at Artis Opus and finally from all the team and myself at Artis Opus a massive thank you for watching and I uh, hope you can share this video with your friends who are looking to find out how to clean brushes see you very soon on the next one take care bye bye